Hello, my name is Dwight, and I'm an educator at Discovery Place. Today, I'll be showing you how to make bird feeders that can help the wildlife that lives in your backyard. The bird feeders that you'll be making are really good for providing migratory birds with that energy that they need to fly long distances. It can help mature birds to feed their young, and it can supplement the natural diet of birds and other animals. So the first thing you'll want to do is you're going to want to take your pine cone and your string and you're going to make a big loop at the top. Now you're going to want to make sure your loop is big because this is what we'll be using to hang our pine cone bird feeder off of a tree branch. Once you have your string attached, pick up the pine cone and cover as much of the surface area as possible with your vegetable shortening and cornmeal mixture. Fill in all of the nooks and crannies with the shortening. This is what will stick the bird seed to the pine cone. So we wanna make sure we get every possible inch covered. This step is a little messy, so you might wanna wear gloves if you wanna keep your hands clean. So the next thing you wanted to do was you gotta pour out your bird seed onto a tray, just like this one. And then you're gonna take your vegetable shortening covered pine cone and you're gonna cover as much of this as possible with bird seed. Rolling it in a back and forth motion is the best way to get as much bird seed on as possible. Once you're satisfied with the amount of bird seed on your feeder, we're gonna to wanna to hang this off of the tree. Now the standard height for most bird feeders is at least five feet off the ground but feel free to hang your pine cone from anywhere off of the tree. Personally, I like to hang these where I've seen lots of birds and squirrels hanging out. A few common backyard birds that may be attractive to your feeder include wrens, eastern bluebirds, blue jays, and cardinals. Some of these birds can be really shy, so it's best to observe your feeder at a distance. A patio or a back deck can often serve as the perfect place for your bird watching. And don't forget to bring your binoculars and a trusty field guide with you. 